Hi, first grade, Mrs. Pecora here. Today in library, we're going to read this book called Pork in Stein. It's by Katherine Lasky. It is an awesome book. I think you're gonna like it. If you hear some noises, don't be alarmed. It's probably my bird, or it might be the puppy Winston who's sitting right next to me because he likes to read too. So let's read and see what Pork in Stein is all about by Katherine Lasky. Whoops got left in there, boys and girls. Okay, here we go. Porkenstein by Katherine Lasky. Dr. Smart Pig was a famous inventor, but he didn't have any friends. His two brothers had been eaten by the big bad wolf a year ago, and he had been very lonely ever since. Tomorrow is Halloween, he thought sadly. What fun is Halloween without any friends? Suddenly, he had an idea. I'm an inventor. I can invent a friend. I'll never be lonely again. Dr. Pig was excited. He ran to his laboratory. I shall invent a pig that is bigger and better, absolutely wolf-proof, he squealed. Then he mixed some chemicals in a beaker and went to bed. Boys and girls, a beaker is one of these things. It's a glass jar that holds liquids and scientists use them. At dawn, Dr. Pig raced to his laboratory. The beaker glowed mysteriously. Then something leaped up and squirted him in the eye. Oh dear, said Dr. Pig, something's gone wrong. I created a pig fish. He put the pig fish into an aquarium and began to mix up a new batch of chemicals, this time with less salt. He put the beaker in an incubator to keep it warm and off he went to weed his garden. A few hours later, he returned to his laboratory. He peered into the incubator and happy to see a rounded snout and a corkscrew tail, but something wasn't right. Oh no, he cried, it has wings. The creature oinked, flew off and hung upside down from the ceiling. It's a pig bat, Dr. Pig said. I'll have to try again. Halloween night was getting closer and Dr. Pig still did not have a friend. He mixed up another batch of chemicals and this time he hooked the beaker up to his electro pigometer. At the last minute, he threw in a teaspoon of sugar. It was almost sunset when he heard loud grunts coming from his lab. Another creation had come to life. There on the table was the biggest pig he had ever seen. I'm starving, the giant pig shouted. I need food, feed me. Dr. Pig gasped. Would you like a jelly donut, he asked. The giant pig swallowed it in one gulp, dribbling jelly all over himself. More, he shouted. Feed me more. Dr. Smart Pig was worried. Maybe inventing a friend wasn't such a good idea after all. The new pig ate and ate and ate. He ate jars of jam and peanut butter and every bit of food in the house. Then he ate the garbage, including the can. He ate the curtains, the doormat, the rug, and a chair. He even ate the dust bunnies and the bugs. What would the neighbors think? This was no friend. It's Porkenstein, Dr. Pig gasped. I've created a monster. It did not take long for stories about Porkenstein to spread. Soon, everyone for miles around was talking about the enormous pig. 
The big bad wolf heard about the incredible hog and he began to drool at the thought. Yum, 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 he said to himself. What a meal! It was just after sunset on Halloween night when someone knocked on Dr. Pig's door. Oh no, it's our first trick-or-treater and you've eaten all the candy! Dr. Pig began to cry. Outside was a drooling little old lady with fangs, long furry ears, and a tail tucked up under her dress. <gasps> it's him! Dr. Pig whispered. He began to shake with fear. Who? The big bad wolf, the one who ate my brothers. Porkenstein opened the door. Trick or treat, piggy pie, the wolf said in a creaky old lady voice. He licked his chops. You sure are a big fellow. What big thighs you have. And what long furry ears you have, replied Porkenstein. Inside the house, Dr. Pig listened, frozen with fear. Suddenly, there was a scuffling sound, followed by a huge gulp and a rumbling belch. Blech. Then, silence. Uh-oh, boys and girls, who do you think ate who? Let's turn the page and find out. Dr. Smart Pig peeked out the door. Oh, you didn't, he said and gasped in disbelief. I did, Porkenstein smiled. A pair of empty boots stood where the wolf had been. That night, Dr. Pig could not believe how lucky he was. Porkenstein, he said, I'll never have a better friend. You mean I'm not just an invention? Porkenstein asked. No, you're a true friend. The big bad wolf was gone forever and Dr. Pig would never have to be lonely again. Now it was time for fun. I'm still hungry, said Porkenstein. Let's go trick or treating. So the two pigs put on costumes. And off they went. Sorry, boys and girls. Thing is really shaky. Happy Halloween. I hope you enjoyed the story, boys and girls. It's one of my favorites. Have a great day.